Hi hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So, what are we looking at today? Well, we are back with some lower tier Carthaginian cavalry, the tier 5 Amazigi tribesmen. So, I think I found quite a bit in the comments, quite a few people suggesting that they've recently lighted, started going down the Carthaginian territory, in part perhaps because some of the videos we've had looking at the tier 8s, the new medians, which I've been really enjoying. Um, but a lot of people say they really struggle with these tier 5s. Um, they aren't necessarily the easiest unit to play, and they can get better to get used to with them being quite a light cavalry. They're sort of a bit middling at everything. Um, you know, things like, you know, while you have access to your deep pockets, it doesn't cycle continuously like it does at tier 8. You know, you can't keep it continually activated. It's only got that 30 second duration. Makes everything a little bit harder than it is sometimes at tier 8 to manage, and your debuffs and everything aren't as strong, etc, etc. But you do still have many of the hallmarks of the Carthage Union Cavalry, the double charge, etc. The pretty good base movement speed, you know, 8.8, .8, something like that, which is pretty nice. Combined with the fact you get that really quick uh, cooldown charge, it means you can cycle yourself across the battlefield pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about them. Stats-wise, they do well in charge impact. Uh, it's at 283, pretty good base. Obviously, I'm, one, getting a good upgrade from my uh, Wild Apples, which I'm using, both for the movement speed and the charge impact. And I don't know if we get any movements, but we do get a bit of extra movement speed from the Tunic. Unfortunately, the weapon doesn't give any impact damage increase, which is why our impact damage feels pretty low down at 187. And we've got like, nothing like a new mid and advanced exactly or anything to buff that. So we're only relying on that little 5% that we're getting from Flying Column, which is pretty mediocre, isn't it? Two shields to pick from. Um, you're basically sacrificing a bit of missile block chance and one melee defense for more shield armor. I, 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 I'm not sure if it's worth it or not, to be honest. Oh, it looks cooler, doesn't it? Because it's bright red. So that's enough reason to take it. So we'll go for it because it looks cool. Um, and that's really all there is to say about these guys. I just wanted to hop into a game and showcase these guys a little bit more on how they can be quite an effective cavalry. They still perform that sort of anti-cav role that um, some of the higher tier stuff does. They just aren't very forgiving. So yeah, let's hop into a few games and see if we can cause a bit of trouble with them. So we have just loaded into the Battle Marathon. We are top tier, so... If I can actually get a spot that I want, then hopefully we should be able to have a decent game. Looking at the team comps, we have got one, uh, two, three cavalry on our team, if we include us. So it's almost certainly that they're going to be at least a handful, a couple of enemy cavalry units on the enemy team. So that's really what I want to be targeting. I will be a bit careful about what we target. You know, we need to be winning those charges, not blobbing up and sort of surrounding these units, getting our debuffs on. If we can isolate any units on their own, then we can really kill them because our debuffs are sufficiently effective along with our buffs that we can pretty well overwhelm them. So, I'm just going to get moving up with everyone for the start. I think, no, I've changed my mind. I'm just going to take one unit. We need a little charge to get a little bit of ground. Um, and I'll leave these two units just at the back for the start and I'll scout ahead with this one. Although it looks, to be honest, like our infantry are pushing pretty hard across the centre, so um, it's not that much of a problem for us. It's surprising that after having like a 9 second cooldown, how slower uh, such a cooldown as this feels. Well, it, hmm. you see these guys presumably have some sort of support with them, which they do. Could it be possible to outplay them though? Going in. Yeah, we'll avoid those dogs. Oh, we're going to take some nasty slinger shots though. Let's try and have a bit of an avoidance. We didn't take too much damage there. That's friendly cavalry. Okay. I was a bit rash because we know that those slingers realistically had to have some sort of support with them. The odds of them being there on their own <laughs> would have been a bit rash. But then that's the benefit of having just one unit in your control at a time. It means I can make these sort of decisions and, and play, make these plays without feeling too uh, bad if I make a mistake. Only a little bit. No, there we go. A little bit of a javelin toss. Oh, watch out for the enemy archers. And the enemy javelin toss. Oh, that was a real painful return. I'm getting hit by all those archers now. We've got to try and dodge some of this and get out. Jeez, okay. It's tough when the enemy has so much range um, to make use of your javelins because obviously you feel like um, as soon as you stop to throw a javelin, you become vulnerable to the enemy range and they hit you harder than you hit them. It's kind of the risk of it, as you see there. So not exactly the, the promising start I had hoped. It looks like all our archers are in full retreat. We can see those slingers shooting again. We don't know if they've got any more support with them this time. Let's go and have a little little gander just to see. It'd be funny if they didn't. They have got a Falksman with them though, you see. Oh, do, 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 do. We'll risk it for a chocolate biscuit. There's their Falksman. 
I'm going to try and double tap them. They're going to charge like that. Get round, get round, get round, get round. A bad charge. Mm. Yeah, not a great charge there. Uh, I'm going to debuff the Falksman to make them less effective and then just try and get as much damage in on the Slingers as we can before we get killed because we're going to go down pretty quickly now. Particularly with all the missile fire that's coming in and uh, the damage that these Falksmen are going to put into me. They've pretty much got me. But we did get a bit of damage in on those enemy Slingers. Probably not enough to make it worthwhile though. Our troops are routing, coward. So... That's a real situation. So this I'm going to start here in a very basic form. We can at least throw some um, missiles into the back of them. Yeah, it's friendly cover. Ready and fire! Let's get a couple of thousand points of damage. Um, there's some enemy missile units up here that look like they're undefended. I don't know why our cavalry wouldn't be engaging them. Um, I am slightly blobbed here. That's fine, these guys are trying to run. I might go for a long charge, to be honest. Rather than our flying column, because we're going to hit them all in a nice long charge. Perfect. Just what we wanted. Let's split our units up. Get one unit chasing one, one unit chasing the other. Uh, get our buffs on. So let's try and cut these guys down quickly. They're going to run to their spearmen. Okay, well, we don't want to get our guys caught in the spearmen. Let's kill this unit here at least first. And our barbarian warriors are turning up. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. That's them dead. Uh, let's see what these spearmen are going to do if they're going to make an error here. Or if they're going to go for those barbarians. No, they're going to go for me. If those barbarians could go around the back of them, that would be a nice uh, opportunity if they wanted to do that. No, they're just going to burn them. Okay. Well, they're going to do what they're going to do. These Celerians here look like they're AFK. Maybe. 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 Last minute charge. Nice. Not amazing damage, to be honest. But we can at least get a debuff on. Um, let's pull this unit round. Pull this unit round. See if we can get rear flank. Got to watch out. These spearmen are coming in. And was that going to be a nuke damage? It was. I don't think this is going to end favourably for me. Oh, go on. Wrap them. Wrap them. Come on. Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay. He just wasn't paying attention. But we've got to watch out for these spearmen, though. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, I say we'll get out of here. Just <laughs> sneaky little javelin throw. Uh, ooh, more spearmen blobbing up. Okay, let's get ourselves out. Well, okay, we're up to 2,000 aggression. We're not doing too badly. We definitely made some mistakes at the start against those slingers. We got a little bit cocky and took too many losses there. But, oh, these, the Solera is angry with us now. <laughs> he wants revenge for his dead unit. So, uh, we know there's some more enemy archers around. You can see them here. We know slingers are still kicking around as well. Ah. So as I was saying, we know there's some more enemy <laughs> archers around. We just don't know where they are. Okay, we're going to have to double do this. We'll win that charge. And obviously win this charge against the archers. Let's debuff one of these hilarious. So the reason I've done that is I know these guys are going to fight me. There's nothing I can do about that. And I'm almost certainly going to lose this engagement. Um, I know that. Nothing I can do about that. So I would rather get the kills on these archers. It's certainly going to kill a sort of a significant risk to our team by killing these archers. And it gives me, obviously, a lot of points as well, which is always a benefit. Um, so I picked one unit to engage these guys before they came for me. Basically, in a nutshell. Um, obviously, we're now going to get charged again ourselves. Oops, I've made a mistake there. Off the wrong units. Um, looks like those enemy spearmen are still around. Have we got our uh, DB buff yet back here? No, no, we haven't. We still got to fight these Romans as well, which is hard. And we're getting enemy enemy slingers, I think, coming in. Probably the end for us, but it gave us oh, some really good opportunities to get damage. In. We might actually finish off these Romans with a bit of luck. How's that other unit doing? Not so well. It's keeping up the fighting. This unit is just hanging on. You see, so when you say that these units are tough. These are fighting now equivalent to Roman cavalry, the heaviest cavalry sort of in the game at this tier. And really, we're doing fairly well. Looks like we're finally getting a bit of reinforcements in terms of the Greeks. I'd rather they charge those guys. Yes, they do. And that's going to give me my opportunity to get out with that unit. And the friendly infantry are sort of turning up now. I'm going to keep a few people left alive. Hasdrubal's actually come out of this intact, which is one thing. We'll race over here, see if we can just help finish off some of these Solares. Certainly won't let them escape, but it looks like we're going to cap out actually anyway. And there we go. Victory! 
So, yeah, how do these guys play? I think they play quite nicely. Um, I like the mobility at this tier. The fact that you can bar Greek cavalry, you obviously do not be charging Greek cavalry head on. You need to bait out their charge before you do that. But anything else, pretty much you can guarantee to win because you've got a much higher charge impact. The only thing you need to be careful of is the fact that if you're using your flying column, then you've only got a two second duration, so you don't want to activate it too early because um, otherwise you'll just drop out of charge as they hit you, and then of course you'll lose the charge. So, got to be a bit careful, but all in all, these guys perform really well. I'm, I'm a, always was a big fan of them at the time. I find them generally quite easy to play. Um, because of this tier as well, archers tend not to be so well protected, tend to be more milling around in the middle of nowhere, which kind of makes them a prime candidate to hunt down and kill. And yeah, I think that's for that they, they, they work pretty perfectly. So hopefully you have, have enjoyed this little bit of a sort of summary on what these guys are like. Hopefully maybe a little bit, even a little bit helpful, which so very rarely my videos probably are. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy these guys. I think they're a great little tier 5 cavalry. I think they give you much more option than almost any other cavalry out there. You know, the barbarians, uh, well the barbarians at tier 5 are pretty great actually as well because they get the speed and the hard hitting. But traditionally the barbarian tech tree is a real full skirmisher type cavalry where um, as you get up the higher tiers you'll experience this more and more where they're really bad in prolonged fights but um, they get all that movement speed which enables them to really exploit opportunities. Well these guys they get a little bit less movement speed but you know with the buffs and debuffs that they get um, with Hasdrubal, you know the fact that you're not getting 40% at this tier but um, you know you're getting that quite increase to melee defense and melee attack makes you hit a little bit harder and a bit more stronger and the fact that you can debuff the enemy so much particularly that 40% melee attack makes it quite hard for them to land hits on you particularly when you combine with the fact that you're increasing your melee defense as well which is reducing the chance of the enemy landing hits you know it means you can really uh, pick and engage people uh, quite forcefully you know if you can get uh, two or three units against one unit of Roman cavalry, you can you can almost do it without taking any casualties at all because you know you can keep them continually debuffed and keep yourself almost continually buffed, which is just what makes these guys so great. And you have all the movement speed as well to really exploit those opportunities like archers and stuff, where in a sense that the Roman cavalry doesn't because they're so slow, so lumbering that they kind of lack in that sort of ability. Not to mention the fact as well that these guys do much better on things like weapon damage and stuff than the equivalent of Romans, and I, I just think they're a little bit nicer to play all in all. So yeah, um, I highly recommend these as a, a tier 5 cavalry. Give them a try out, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this little sort of mini back step into the Carthage cavalry line. And yeah, subscribe to the channel for lots more Total Arena content. And I shall see you all on the next video.